How is this a real headline? Nicki Minaj congratulates Ben Shapiro on number one track. Not bad. To Yamaka, homie, no cap. Look at the graphs. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You don't. He said, Yamaka, no cap. That's legitimately a great line. If someone had a gun to my head and said, describe the average Ben Shapiro hater, unemployed would probably make the list. And I just love an accurate read because for me, you know, all my haters are ugly. Don't be a WAP, he said. <laughs> Welcome back to the Blair White Project podcast. Gonna be a weird episode because y'all are out there doing some weird stuff. These articles and or TikToks that I'm going to cover with you today. Let's just say um, I'm the most sane one out here. Despite the gaslighting, right? Like y'all act like I'm the problem. Far from it, actually. I'm not quite sure how this first story is real. And before we even jump in, I must beg the question, am I high? Because it must be the weed. It must be the E, Mariah Carey. How is this a real headline? Nicki Minaj congratulates Ben Shapiro on number one track. Not bad, is the quote. Wow. <laughs> 2024, I will say, you know, she's coming in hot. She's coming in hot. So this, of course, is Tom McDonald's song featuring Ben Shapiro, which if you haven't seen it, Neither have I. However, it's not because I haven't wanted to with every fiber in my being. I actually, the second I saw it, had to stop myself from clicking on it because I just feel like it would be wrong to watch it by myself. I need to watch it for the first time with y'all. And y'all know Tom McDonald is a very good close friend of mine. I was in his music video, Snowflakes. In fact, he, she, his, him, hers, them, they, screw a pronoun because everyone's a retard these days. Here Put it on the screen. Just a masterpiece, just art. I mean, Tom's mind to think to put my tranny ass in a music video, a rap video, a right wing rap video featuring a trans bitch. It's kind of like, okay, next level, next level. So let's see this together, this banger together. By the way, I'm laughing at Ben, not Tom. Shout out to Tom. Before we even get to Ben's part, I do have to say, not enough people know this, and it's awesome. Tom's whole operation over there is very independent. It's just him, his girlfriend Nova, and like a few other people that help him on the videos. That was a setup when I did, you know, my music video with him, and it was very like independent. And I just think that's amazing in an industry that this song reached number one. Do we understand this? What an accomplishment that is just for the entertainment industry, the music industry especially. And it really shows how decentralized this is becoming. Like you can just be a star now if you put in the work. And Tom, he puts in the work. Whether you love or hate Tom McDonald, whether you're a lib, which praying for you, and that is the reason for your aversion to him and his music, um, you gotta admit, to do this independently, this is high quality-ish. So it's not as if, He's just pooping anything out. You got to respect it regardless of whether you, you know, are a commie ass bitch and you shouldn't be a commie ass bitch. What was that wave? What would Ben do? Apparently rap. I mean, wow. It's the wave for me in the background. I mean, that's haunted. But... I'm loving it so far. Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. My money like lives my pockets are fat. Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a WAP. Dog is Don't be a WAP, he said. Oh my God. I don't think I was ready. I really don't. I, I know I wasn't ready. It's hitting. And you know, I do have to say though, I know that I've dragged, you know, Ben Shapiro from New York to LA by that yarmulke, right? Just done it. But I have a lot of respect for this. I love anyone who's willing to be, you know, shamelessly goofy, right? Like, and that's also what I love about Tom. It's like, 
Tom knowing him, it's like he's not putting Ben Shapiro in his song being like, you know, Ben Shapiro's a serious rapper. He knows it's going to be funny and nothing's wrong with humor. See, y'all, y'all let the left have a monopoly on fun. And do you know how not good that is? Do you know how, you know, disrupting that is to any chance of success that the right has in taking over any aspect of culture? I mean, God, we have, they have academia, all of television, half of the internet, if actually I would say 90% of the internet, they even got AI. I tried to put a Trump hat on a picture in AI yesterday in Photoshop and it said, error, this goes against our guidelines. You can't even put a MAGA hat in AI. I, I have a lot of respect for both Ben and, you know, Tom for doing this because they know it's fun. And I'm sorry, the right is a bit too boring. Actually, way too boring, way too lame. In fact, that's why I really appreciate Tom's presence, that whether or not you like his music, it's just fun. Like if you accept it as fun, right? Because a lot of y'all are so quick to call everything cringe. Is it that cringe or are you just boring as shit? See, the problem with the right is they often only see in black and white, right? So fun, art, right? Just they throw it out the window. And the problem with the libs is they see a few too many colors, right? They see a few too many colors and sometimes they lack the appreciation for simplicity. And, you know, any warping of that really like lame dynamic of like there is no fun and no art on the right, I'm all here for it. See, Yamaka, homie, no cap. Look at the graphs. Look at my charts. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You go. He said, Yamaka, no cap. That's legitimately a great line. Are you gonna lie? Liars show up in the comments now, get it over with. I know you're lying, but you know that that was a fire line. Nicki Minaj gave it up. You can't give it up? Okay, liar, liar. Is anyone also gonna talk about the fact that his rapping is somehow more monotone than his speaking? That alone is mind blowing enough and reason enough for a few billion of these views, I mean, how the hell are you going to be more dry and flat rapping than talking? Just no flair, right? No flair? I said yamaka. That is like the widest way to say yamaka. Yamaka. <laughs> uh. When the president I'm on television talks, no one knows who you are. Keep hating on me on the internet. My comment section all woke Karen's. And I make racks off compound interest. Y'all live with your parents. Nikki, take some notes. I just did this for... Another thing you have to respect is an accurate read. And if someone had a gun to my head and said, describe the average Ben Shapiro hater, unemployed would probably make the list. I mean, you're probably living at home. Not all of you, but a lot of y'all probably are. And I just love an accurate read because for me, you know, all my haters are ugly. And... Y'all get on me for just acknowledging that, but I don't know how to lie. People who hate Blair White are ugly. I just did this for fun. All my people download this. Let's get a billboard number one. This ain't rap. And he did. And he did. Listen. You don't have to like Ben Shapiro. You don't have to like Tom McDonald. You don't have to. It's just, it, it is what it is. He did it. They did it. They did that. It's not quite giving Blair White writhing sexually in Versace on a cop car, burning cop car. Your way, no way, gasoline and propane, more flames, oh no, no more snowflakes. We can all get along, but there's no stopping. Everybody's wrong, that's a real problem. They don't want to hear it, but they still talking. Soon enough, we running out of options. This ain't gonna end till it's in the coffee. We ain't gonna be friends till we try to squash it. I mean, that was just some kind of art. Some kind of art. But this really did do its big one as well. So congratulations, Ben Shapiro. Congratulations, Tom. Such a deserving person. Tom is an amazing person. I love you. Follow me on this channel as well as my main channel. Follow me on X and Instagram. And I'll see you in the next episode of The Boy White Project. Bye.